Hello viewers, I welcome you all for my Chilti of Tech channel and today we are going to talk about the forward lookup zones and reverse lookup zones in uh, your domain controller. Okay, uh, if you, uh, this is our domain controller in which we have a login to DNS manager. To login uh, DNS manager, it's quite easy. You just go and type DNS and uh, here you can navigate to domain controller, your DNS server. So these are two zones that are forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone. Okay, uh, there are two things that are uh, in your domain. The first one is the IP address of your uh, server or machine, which is performing various roles and features. And the second one is the name of that server. There is only one IP of that server uh, if you are working in on domain on, dom on premise domains uh, you may have your static you may have assigned static ips to your member servers or machines and uh, these static ips are the identity of the server through which it can be pinged similarly on the on the base of your ip scheme or the static IP that you have defined to any server there is a name associated with that IP okay there may be one name or there may be multiple names that may be mapped to that IP so for forward lookup zones if we go here and if we go into the domain here you are seeing that these are the names of the servers this is my different servers and uh, these are different uh, names uh, against each name there is a IP if I sort it here here you can see that the 13 server that is this one against these three static IPs that is 10 20 30 13 there is a particular name they are different names so it means that against one static IP there may be different names so if we talk about the relation there is one to many relations one ip can be assigned to multiple names it means that you can define different names here similarly if we talk about the 41 server this is crm app server and this is 10 20 30 41 so if i quickly go into command prompt and here on the basis of these evaluations Here, if I go and type the command of NS lookup and type 10, 20, 30, 13, here on first result, it's giving me that against 10, 20, 30, 13, the name is 19 WFE. If I again type it, it gives me 19 WFE. Why it is so? On every name, it's giving me only one name that is 19 wfe while there are two board names here the reason is that i am resolving my server that is 10 20 30 13 by the name by the ip so resolving name through ip is defined in forward lookup zone so if i go into reverse lookup zone and I sort it here you are seeing that against 10 20 30 13 only one name is defined that is the reason that whenever I go and search any name to through uh, that uh, IP it gives me 90 WFE so for defining more names against that IP I have to add it in the reverse lookup zone here that is 10 20 30 this one okay and one more new pointer 10 20 30 uh, sorry 13 and against that 13 there is one more name that is HLTF tech website and I'm going to click OK 
after refreshing the page here i'm seeing that against these three ips three different names are there sorry against these unique ip there are three different names so now if i go and perform gp update slash force to update all the settings that have been defined in dns i will again search for 10 20 30 30 Now you can see that on my first search it gave me 19 WFE. On my second search if it gave me 10 20 30 13 against HLTF tech company. And if I again search it will tell me that against this IP one more name is registered. This will continue till the process till the time when I define my companies. So it means that these are the lookup zones in forward lookup zone. You define the IP and through that IP your name is recognized and in reverse lookup zone you define the name and against that name your IP is recognized. For example if I go and search it through name HLTF tech company sorry there may be some typing mistake HLTF tech company dot HLTF tech. Okay, let's search for. Sorry, I think there is a typing mistake. Yes, there was a typing mistake. Yes, again, that name it's telling me that it's uh, has the address of this one. And if I search by IP, it's tell me that it's again against the HLT of tech company. So in this way, you can define any name of any server through the IP or any IP through the name by defining them in forward lookup zones and reverse lookup zones respectively. So I thank you all for watching this short video.